Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm coming to you with a sewing tutorial. So basically we are going to make a, a dress today. I'm going by a pattern and it's a great way to sew if you don't know how to do your own pattern or if you don't know how to get started. To get a pattern is a great idea because you will have instructions and everything that you need, material recommendations and so on. Today we will be working with this pattern. It's a simplicity pattern number S8637 by American Sewing Guild. And what's nice about it, it's basically you get different variations. I'll show you on the screen closer. Um, different pattern variations, different choices of sleeves or skirt bottoms and so on. So you can kind of still adapt it to your own taste and not to have a standard piece of clothing. Um, on the back of the pattern you will see that there is different uh, measurements and according to that how much material you will need. Of course it will also depend on what kind of um, pattern you choose to make, whether you want the skirt to be longer or shorter, whether you want um, a flounce or a poplum, depends how you call it. Another thing that will determine how much material you, you need is not only what kind of pattern you choose, but also um, your own body measurements, because of course if you are a smaller size you require less material. And the last thing we'll determine is um, how the material is being sold to you. So where I shop usually the standard is one meter and a half wide and it's folded in half but some materials will be two meters wide or some will be less wide maybe more expensive ones a lot of times silks or different designer materials can come in different sizes so the only thing I want to notice is because this is an American pattern so where the instructions in the back are um, for material requirements um, it's in yards and in inches the measurements but when you look on the bottom and it's um, the, the directions are in French so the then the measurements are in meters and centimeters yeah as I said the instructions are coming in four different languages they are coming in Spanish German uh, English and I think I saw also French if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and French. So this is very nice. So if your English is not so good but you speak one of those languages, it can be very helpful to you. Going back to the sewing guide, it's actually very detailed and very illustrated. It even shows what kind of types of uh, seams you need to make, when you need to press a seam, when you need to top stitch anything. Um, I have to be honest, I didn't go exactly by the measures uh, that were required um, or the directions just because I'm already quite experienced in sewing and I, I know how majority of the things go and so even if I uh, jumped over several steps there was a reason for that. Now, if you have never made this piece of garment before, I do this pretty much for every new project before I make it from the good material or the material that um, I plan to wear it from. I do a version of a mock-up. A mock-up is just basically where you um, make a, a rough design. You don't have to finish the seams. You just basically cut out the material according to the pattern that you want and you make the, the piece of garment and you want to see how it lays. Usually it's made from muslin, which is a very simple kind of material without any design. Um, it's also very cheap. Um, I did my mock-up from viscose just because that was the material available to me during lockdown. That's the material that was left over and I wasn't sure what to do with it. And according to that I did several adaptations to the pattern. Now another information about the pattern is basically the patterns come on a very thin kind of pergament, pergament paper and you would lay it flat, you would iron it or if it's not completely straight you would lay it flat on the floor and then you would 
um, or you would lay it on top of the material that you plan already to cut out and according to your measures, as you see here's already measures for the different sizes that you need and you just follow the guide of the cutting line for that. Now because I make sometimes also outfits for other people so I plan to keep this intact or actually if I change my size and I want to be able to adapt a pattern for something else so I decided to keep this pattern complete and I decided to take my own pattern paper and just to trace it and then if I need to adapt or anything like that or I make a mistake it's not so bad as cutting the actual pattern itself so I plan to have it for many years to come because the design of the dress is honestly uh, quite classical and I really enjoyed uh, making it and also wearing it already by the time that I'm making this video. Now according to the mock-up I made I decided to make as few adjustments to the patterns so the first big adjustment was I decided to make the skirt itself about 14 centimeters shorter just because the mock-up that I made it actually hit almost the floor and I wanted the skirt to hit about the mid calf of my leg so not so long. The other thing I decided to do to the skirt was to eliminate the center seam and to have just a little bit more of the um, width of the skirt so I have a little bit more of a volume there and instead of that I decided to make two darts in the back so of course you don't have to do it it was just my design choice and also it's up to you you can follow the pattern exactly how it uh, goes it makes a beautiful garment anyway now after also making the top of the bodice of the dress I've um, you will see it later in the video I've decided to make the bodice about two centimeters shorter and I decided to take in about um, like three millimeters from the shoulder seam just to make it sit a little bit tighter on me now my body is not a standard I think um, body measurements that you would get in a shop and that's one of the pluses of making the pattern according to what you want because you can always take in where you need take out where you want more more um, room for your dress and yeah so that would make it a lot nicer for your own body so having said that let's get sewing shoo, shoo, shoo,
Music. 